hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is nani kriya yes you can call me mom to poor boy in this video i am going to discuss a parental model that you know i and hubby used and i think we actually you know failed on some part i'm here on this channel i cover lifestyle i cover food i cover parenting um i cover home decor i cover do um diys you know i cover home videos in general and anything in between um, so sometimes this is a disclaimer and i say this all the time when i come here and talk about you know my experience i'm not trying to impose you know, you know my values and my beliefs on anyone it is just this is what i did i don't think it went really well what are you going to do or this is what i did and i think it helped with the kids what are you going to do okay so today i am going to discuss one of the parental model that i think it didn't actually help and based on that just listen to the video Comment, let me know what you think. I'm learning from you. You are also learning from me. Um, you know, let me let me know what you think because if you comment, that connect us together so we can actually be connected. Okay, so yes, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Just click the notification icon. Let it turn into gray, you know, the bell. Let the bell turn into gray. Anytime I post a video, you will not be left out. YouTube will notify you so you will come here and watch. And also we are on Facebook youtube tiktok did i say youtube <laughs> we're on facebook instagram and tiktok same name follow us on facebook follow us on instagram and also follow us on tiktok okay and let's connect in all my platforms all right so we can get connected okay all right so today in this video as i said i am going to discuss a parental model that i and my husband use i think it didn't actually help what do you think put them in the comment section down below all right so when the boys were growing up, I and my husband, we decided not to actually raise them, knowing that money is everywhere, you know, it's just easy for you to access money. We try to raise them to be very responsible, okay, very responsible and independent at a very early age. I will say I will tap my back, okay. There was a time I posted something on Facebook and I was saying that, you know, the, diffic the difficult part of letting your child go, you the parent, you train them or you raise them up to be very independent, okay, to be very uh, uh, um, responsible. But the hardest part is you accepting that you are successful. And I think I'm on that phase or I'm in that phase. Now, for me to accept that I am successful, it is really, really hard for me because I don't think that parental model actually help really well. All right. So, as I said, I and my husband, when the boys were growing up, we decided not to actually to raise them thinking that, you know, money is everywhere. You can just go to the bank and access, you know, money there to the point of when I am going to the bank to get money, I will take a toy. Or as we already know, there's a lot of toys when you go to the bank. So I make sure I keep the boys there when they were growing up. I would just keep them there for them to play because the three of them, they were very close to each other. I'm talking about the age difference. The gap wasn't that much. So the three of them can play whilst I talk to the tellers and get my money with the idea that they will not even see me taking money. Just like, you know, going to the bank and then you just say something and someone gives you money. To me, that's what I was thinking. I don't want them to think like that. And also we want them to be very, very responsible. And also sometimes when I'm going to take money from the ATM, you know, I didn't want the boys to think that money comes from walls. You know, you just go to the wall put a slide, a card in and money comes. So whenever I'm going to take money from the ATM, I'll take the boys with me because, you know, we came here and there was no one. It's just my husband and me. So wherever you are going, you have to take the boys. My husband had a job I'm very far away from here. So most of the time during the day, I am with the boys. So I have to go with them anyway, but I will take a toy and then go with the boys and I'll make sure they will be playing with the toys. I'll make sure I see that they are playing with the toys whilst I take my money with the idea that they will not think that money comes from wars. Okay, this is how strict we were. And also they have to be very, very responsible, teaching them that, you know, you have to be responsible. Money does not grow out of trees. You have to really work really hard for your money. So at the age of 14 years, we discuss it with them, you know, for them to work in McDonald's, not because we don't want to give them money, but it's the fact that we want them to be very responsible. And I think we went so far we went so far and now sometimes you feel like they don't even need you anymore we tap our back okay it is not bad for them to be responsible i like that they are not yeah, they are very responsible they don't even come to you and ask for money it is really hard for for them to even come to you and ask you for something that is where i think we went wrong on that okay so 
I am going to give you two instances that I think, you know, because we raise them that way, you know, they turn out to be something extreme. And that is what I'm here to advise. If you're also doing the same thing, because I know most parents actually do that, which is really good. But to the extreme, to me, it didn't actually help. Okay. My first instance is when my, you know, my son was growing up. He was about 18 years old. So um, at that time, he, you know, he has started, you know, signing contracts, you know, to travel and go and, you know, perform and things like that. So he has his own account, you know, whenever the money comes, we put the money in and things like that. So he has his own money. But then anytime my son wants to go and take money, even after 18 years, he will come and ask me or come and ask the dad, even though he had the access to go and take the money. This is how we made them, you know, now they have to even ask us for us to go and, and access their own money. So it came to a time we have to sit them down and it's like the money is yours. You are over 18. You can use it. Okay. Probably we should have let them know. Okay. Be a bit not so strict on that. So probably we should have let them know that this is how to use money. This is when to use it. You are 18 years old. You have your independent and things like that. But we thought we were being very, very, to us, we were being good parents. We are setting a good example. But it went to the extreme, to the point of not them not even having the confidence to go and access their own money, but they have to come and ask mom and dad. And I remember there was this instance, a friend of mine came to me. So I was sitting there with a friend and my son came. He was over 18 as well. My son came, I think about 18, 19 years old. My son came and it's like, mom, can I borrow two bags, which is $2? And I'm like, what happens to your money in your account? Uh, you know, I'm, I don't know. I just want $2 from you. Okay. So my son, my friend is like, you should be ashamed of yourself because he's my friend and he knows how we were bringing the boys up. So he knows that might have contributed to my son at the age of 18 years, asking me for $2 because probably the money in the account is too big. It's too, you know, they see it as, okay, this is, you know, too much. He doesn't have to access it. But he asking me for two dollars. These are some of the things that they ask me at their age. It's like your son is 18, almost 19 years, and he's asking you for two dollars. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And I know it's because we raise them up very strict when it comes to money. I think it has contributed to that. That one for sure. That's what I think. It has contributed to that. So anytime they see money, they are like, you know what? I think this is not good. Probably, I am thinking probably if they get even something that is, we all in this world, we all want money. But here is the case. They think too much is like, you know, it's overwhelming for them. To me, that is what I'm thinking. So we have to sit them down and then talk to them again. Okay, now we have to come back and undo what we did. So that is why I'm saying this is my experience. And the next um, instance is um, when my son went to uni. Um, he was in his second year or something. He went to uni and I was at home and he rushed, rushed home, opened the door, banged the door, went to the kitchen and I had pots and pans, you know. And I'm like, what is going on? He said, mom, I'm so, so hungry. I'm very, very hungry. And it's like, you didn't buy, why didn't you buy food from uni? I don't have money in my account. And I'm like, so why didn't you ask me? Oh, mommy, you know, it's okay. I have to be responsible. Why do I have to ask my mom for? So... To the point of them not even asking you for food they feel like they are not being responsible they feel like they are not being independent so he did not even have the have the confidence to ask me or ask the dad but he stayed at uni for morning he left home around seven o'clock so like, but he got home around half past six six p.m there was nothing at all so he didn't eat anything oh i think evie evie you know the girlfriend uh he i think she had something the two of them they didn't have any account so she had something little and they bought something that's it they didn't eat anything so she he was very very hungry i think both of them were very hungry that is not good enough they should feel confident to come and ask you these basic basic things but here is the case we thought we were doing it you know we were very very extreme doing it just so they would be very independent we didn't plan it that way to be very honest with you i didn't plan it i didn't want it to sound like even little little things like that very very important things basic basic need they cannot come to me that is not what we we, we plan but that is how in, it ended up okay so i know a lot of parents do that trying to bring them up raising them up you know not 
to be too much of a money conscious people but it is good it is fine if you're a parent if you're doing that tap your back you are doing really well but extreme is not good just loosen things up a little bit so they can come and ask you food is life to me food is life to me things like that they should feel confident to come and tell you yes yeah, sometimes you know they have their guilt so they should go no this is not something i can go and ask my mom and my dad but when it comes to food when it comes to something that can sustain them that can give them life at least they should be able to come to you since that day those two instances make me sat down and i talk about it i was talking to the adults like no 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 i don't think we actually did well when it comes to this okay so please as i said my video before the last one the first video i'll call it the first video because that is my introduction to come back again how straight is straight how straight is straight it is too straight guys okay it didn't help to me it didn't help at all i don't know what you think i just want you to put your ideas in the comment section down below just let link up let me help you you also help me by communicating in the comment section down below the name is nanepia you can also call me mom to four boys and i will see you again in my next video i love you all. bye